once the dashboard is installed, you'll get a new tab up here called dashboard. Look at that. So let's open it up, have a quick look at it. Um, we'll need to add some tabs and some groups. So you add tabs by this plus tab button, and then you could say edit. You could give it a different name if you like. You can use different icons, and I'll, I'll leave a link to the icons you could use below the video. So we'll say update there, and then we could add a new group in there, and we'll call that group one. And then we could start assigning things to these groups. As you see, there's nothing in group one, but over here, I've got all of these items. And when I hover over them, then it over here, it will kind of highlight. So let's have a look at how that looks. That could be pretty handy. So I see that that's the active input. That's my output status. And if I wanted to move these around, I just drag these and move them around like that. And then they'll show up in a different order on my user interface. So we'll deploy that, go over to the dashboard and have a look at it. And there's nothing in my second group. That's why I still do not see an option for that tab. Here are the other items that I looked at. So if I uh, change this item three and then here in the items in the group, that's where I select what group. So I could also add new groups right here inside the elements as well. So I'll assign that guy to group two, say done, and we'll deploy it. And then we'll see that our second tab should just show up here. And just like that, because there's something in there, it lets me select it. And here I could select from room one and room two with this nice snazzy slide in menu from the side. And that's about it for groups and tabs. Um, of course, we could have groups on the same tab. So let's have a look at how that looks. I'll add another group in here and then let's move this guy. So let's add it to tab one, group two. And we'll say done, and you'll see that it pops up right over here. We'll hit deploy, and then we'll see that we have two tabs in this uh, first group here. And of course, our hamburger menu went away because our second tab does not have any items in it. So this is a nice way to uh, build up little cards that and group your user element items. You could have one for a video projector, one for a matrix switch, one, one per room, however it is that you need to uh, set these things up. So have a play around with that. It's pretty straightforward. And... You could also, of course, add some links here. So this will link out to another web page. So you could launch another app with that or go to a web page, whatever you like. So have a play around with it. And if you run into any issues or discover anything interesting, please let us know in the comments.